Now let's look at example number two on your sheet. Notice what the target equation will be. And notice the three available reactions that I'm going to combine in some manner to get me to the target. So the first thing I did is I went to reaction one and I decided I was going to flip it. And it looks like this when I flip it around. Now the reason I started with reaction one and the reason I flipped it is I needed N2H4 as a reactant. I notice it's a reactant in my target equation and that's why I flipped equation number one. That's the only one that contains that reactant. And of course by flipping it that means that the sign for the enthalpy change of that reaction flips also. So it goes from being positive 22.5 to a negative 22.5. Then I decided to go to reaction 3 and I flip that one too. And when I do that, it looks like this. I went to reaction 3 because reaction 3 contained the other reactant I need, CH4O. But in the original reaction 3, it was a product I needed as a reactant. You notice it's a reactant in my target. That's why I flipped it around. Again, by flipping it, I changed the sign on the enthalpy change from positive 81.2 to a negative 81.2. Next, I go back to reaction 2, and I decide to leave it as written. And it looks like this. What I'm looking for in this situation is reaction 2. One of the roles it will play is to help certain reactants and or products to cancel out. Sometimes a reaction is meant to sort of clean things up. Even though I have the proper reactants and products matching my target, certain things have to disappear. So I said leave this one alone, which means I left the enthalpy change alone. Let's see if this combination gets me to my target. So I'm about to add these three. Again, let's look for things that appear on opposite sides. And I notice ammonia as a gas. There is no ammonia in my target. Luckily, they're canceling out here. So now you can see how reaction two helped me get rid of the ammonia that I don't want in my target. I noticed the hydrogen appears on opposite sides. It also was able to cancel out. And that was it. I have two reactants surviving my cancellation process, and I've got these three products surviving. So I bring them down, leaving them in their original positions. There are my two reactants. And here are my three products. And it matches identically my target. <coughs> now let's add the enthalpy changes. And I end up with a negative 46.2 kilojoules. That's all there is to it.